Good morning, I'm Georgie. I did start to record this video yesterday and for one reason or another it didn't it didn't quite work out. So on a new day with the, the sun streaming in through the windows after a, quite a stormy night, I've opened my Bible to um, the beginning, to the, to the book of Genesis. And I've been reading the introduction to Genesis in the message version. I found it a real encouragement this morning, um, a real blessing. I'm going to read a bit now and I hope you find it just as encouraging as I have. First God. God is the subject of life. God is foundational for living. If we don't have a sense of the primacy of God, we will never get it right, get life right, get our lives right. Not God at the margins, not God as an option, not God on the weekends, God at centre and circumference, God first and last, God, God, God. Genesis uses words to make a foundation that is solid and true. Everything we think and do and feel is material in a building operation in which we are engaged all our life long. There is immense significance in everything that we do. Our speech and our actions and our prayers are all, every detail of them, involved in this vast building operation, comprehensively known as the Kingdom of God. But we don't build a foundation. The foundation is given. The foundation is firmly in place. Genesis is a verbal witness to that rock. God's creative acts, God's intervening in gracious judgments, God's call to a life of faith, God's making a covenant with us. But Genesis presents none of this to us as an abstract bloodless truth or principle. We are given a succession of stories with named people, people who loved and quarrelled, believed and doubted, had children and married, experienced sin and grace. If we pay attention, we find that we ourselves are living variations on these very stories. The stories show clearly that we are never outsiders or spectators to anything in heaven and earth. God doesn't work impersonally from space. He works with us where we are as he finds us. No matter what we do, whether good or bad, we continue to be part of everything that God is doing. There are really powerful words that I read this morning. I feel sometimes that I'm just not good enough. Um, I'm not a good enough mom. I'm not a good enough wife. I'm not a good enough at my job. Um, and I am quite often guilty of comparing myself unfavorably to other people. Um, but reading those words this morning that say, we continue to be part of everything that God is doing. I found that a real encouragement and I hope you do too.